introverts, welcome back to my channel. It's your Ramina here, back with another commentary video. Guys, I'm here with another episode of Outer Fun. Guys, we're already at episode 8. Where is my guess? <laughs> I knew it was going to be like, I knew I was going to get it later on. But I am ready. Last episode, we saw a little division between the poles, the friendship, the bonds. Sarah and John B are done, at least for now. Last season, they broke up, but it seems a bit more, you know, harsh, more permanent. I don't know. But you know, every every marriage have their their ups and downs. <laughs> you know, every marriage does. There's also the division between Key and JJ. They're just like. Key and Kiara and then JJ and John B and then they both love these girls and instead of doing this they're doing this and I'm not here for it but thankfully Cleo and Pope seem to have the right idea they're, they're, they're doing this they're working together they figured some stuff out they found some stuff Denmark had a daughter who he wrote a letter to explaining about the city of gold and the priest and some glyphs with some translations and stuff so they have to get the idol now for sure and i'm very excited to play now so guys i don't even want to talk anymore i want to jump right into this episode but of course i gotta remind you guys to head on over to the book it's an awesome book recommendation website feel my awesome book recommendations guys and awesome book reviews guys i have read most of the books on there in its entirety so guys make sure you check it out there's witches and warlocks time travel romances you have audio books on there even so guys make sure you head on over check it out and to stay updated with not only giveaways and such but also book lists new and updated book lists just subscribe to my website all you gotta do is join my mailing list put in your email and you're set there is also Mina the introvert store on Etsy guys make sure you check it out it's perfect they have the perfect apparel for my fellow introverts, book lovers, and anime lovers. Guys, don't miss out. Don't miss out on the sales that are coming up as well. So you should join my website, my website's mailing list. And yeah, at the end of the video, don't forget to check out the promo. The link will be in the description box below. I am an affiliate marketer. So if you click my link and get the item, guys, I get a little commission. And I'm trying to get some new headphones. So guys, help me out a bit. And yeah, I want to jump right into this one. This is episode 8, Trapping the Rudder. Right. Cooks. And, I'm missing more. and books. Some more of some Sarah's narration one island wait 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 uh that's it i thought it was obvious i'm sorry i shut up when i kissed john b i gave up my cook card even the dead i don't think you should you know give up who you are when we got back to kildare it was all reversed suddenly he had a father and me Nothing left. No place to stay. For seeing it like that, it's kind of better for me. It doesn't seem more impulsive. Born a kook, became a pogue. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Oh, I remember that. Where do we go from here? So which am I really? You could be happy, like Key. <laughs> I've never seen him like that. I don't think this plan could make things worse. I don't know. And I, I don't know what's gonna happen with me and John B. But what I do know is that I can't just sit by and watch him get arrested while his dad's abducted. Come on home, Big John. You know what I'm saying? No hard feelings. It's kind of hard not to have hard feelings about that. It's just that, that look, that kook look, you know? It was clear provocation. Provocation. <laughs> Love you, JJ. Love you. What if we took that one down? Yeah, no, she took that back, and the HMS is not going to make it down to the Portis Vein. So, out on the boats. Ew, are you eating it? Didn't he just smell that and it was terrible? Oh, God. He's about to get arrested. Shoop is up front right now. Oh, shit. All right, John B. Oh, shit. No, don't make those sounds. John B. Oh, yeah, that's a good hiding place. Why would. In there. You need to come out and talk to me. It'd be a whole lot worse if you don't. 
I didn't like how Key's dad handled the situation. He's just so aggressive. But I guess with all the stuff he's been through with the the daughter. It's a little sketchy. You might not like it, but I think it will work. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What plan? If I tell you right now when the plan is half-baked, you're going to get all negative. Look, I would settle for a quarter-baked type of plan, JJ. Yeah, yeah. Don't mind. Hey. Oh, Rich living a dream. Yeah, he's still an irresponsible dummy. I will move to get him off the battlefield before he starts squawking. The man's literally done everything for you. Hey, are you going somewhere? Um, yeah. Uh, we got some business to take care of, but uh, you can hang out here. All right, I'll, I'll be back. She should rob you, but I guess you only mess with kooks, so she doesn't need to. I'm gonna help you, son. I'm taking control of the company away from you. What? My attorneys found a more recent document that will have control to Rose. And he's gonna kill her. You didn't think I was gonna give up complete control, is Rafe? Not be able to tap the rudder a little bit? Ooh, tapping the rudder. Was it tapping or trapping? Tapping the rudder. Let this life go, we have to bury it. Friar Cameron, you can't stand that I'm on my own right now, that I have the power. Do you, Rafe? Do you have the power? He's a child. I think I have some power. Whew. Wow. I guess I'd have to tell him that you killed Sheriff Peterkin. And that's what he wanted to confirm. So, you know. Who's this thing? Right, he's my daughter. I offered her some money and a place to stay, but... Rafe. I'm saying... The devil's got you, son. It's born again. Is he gonna kill him? Because as angry as you are, I am your father, and you love me. <laughs> well, you was risking your life big time. You almost shit yourself. Well, you did. Well, he's gonna get Sarah now. Hey, I... shouldn't you be taking it easy? Topper. You know I could have beat his ass, right? I mean, I've done it, what? A million times, yes. I'm gonna have to get even. Topper, I am sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. All right, if you're, if you're really, truly sorry, Sarah. Then be with me. How about you go in and testify against him? I didn't think he was gonna go there. We're going in this afternoon. You saw the whole thing. Would you come with us and do right by my son? No. He tried to drown John B. once. I'll meet you there. We don't have a whole lot of time, and your dad needs help right now. And this guy is gonna be the key to getting down to South America ASAP. Trust me on this one. Let me do the talking, okay? Please don't let him do the talking. Please don't. Rutledge. In the flash. Yep. Heard stories about you two. Uh oh. I mean, he's uh oh. I'm sorry, Slick. But I done sold the travel agency. <laughs> well, I mean, dead. Look, we're not looking for some free handout here, right? We understand it's a two way road. All right? Symbiotic relationship. Yes. yes. That's what we're trying to get at. I mean, we just need to parley. Parley. Maybe. Parley. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> just want to ride. Just want to ride. In that cargo hall. And then in exchange, you get two sets of free hands. And another 20k in your pocket? Yeah, so uh, what do you what do you guys catch out here? Money. <laughs> okay. Okay, I respect that shit. The hustle. I think it's that money. It's literally the easiest job in the world, bro. We mm. just unload it. You know what they do on planes? You know, Delta and United, but yeah, they take yes. the bags off of the... That's what we're doing. Okay? Once we do that, we punch our tickets, going to South America, sipping on pina coladas. Only the police are tracking you guys, so you know. A graveyard of empires. Many have died, you know. Perhaps we had a few more to the list. All these threats. This man had one opportunity to send a letter to his daughter, and he sends this mishmash. Think about it. A translation of Kalinago. It's inheritance. He wanted her to find El Dorado. No love club is shaking. Shake it heavily. Sweetie. I prayed you 
you'd come around. Ain't nobody come around, sir. Do you remember you told me you would do anything to repair a relationship? He's not going to turn himself in, I don't think. There's something you can do. Anything. Don't say turn yourself in. He needs to die anyways. I no doubted way. him, and I blamed him. And all this time, he was just trying to protect me. And now he's been abducted, dude. So I kind of need a little bit of a game. Me, it's gonna no, work. Okay, listen, listen. You know who you're going to have to trust right now? Papa Jay. Oh, my God, JJ. There'll be a dummy car for you to use to come back. The plane will still be waiting. Right. Okay, so, um, you just want us to drive the truck. Correct. Yeah, don't do that. You know how this works, right? The highway patrol is changing shifts as we speak. Yeah, no problem. In the truck. Ah, JJ's ideas. Not what they're supposed to be. Okay. I'm sick of your bullshit plans, oh, man. Do. No, I'm just saying, this might actually top the time you told me to fake appendicitis in jail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I remember that. Shit. Okay, play cool, right? I'm oh, my God, I totally shit. Like, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't. No, don't wave. Why'd you yeah. touch me? Don't wave the cops. Rule number one of driving you all. Five minutes. We've been in the car. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I said ditch the truck. Yes. Dude, I swear to God, if we get through this, I'm going to kill you. Well, you probably won't have to because Barracuda Mike is going to kill us first. He will. That was a lot of product. Yeah, I really could care less about Big John's storyline. They also came up this river, you know, John. And they had the fever, you know, as we do. This is giving me Anaconda too. You know, at the end? Well, not even at the end. I feel like a snake is about to come out and take someone's head. My grandfather, he died on that ship, you know, John. As did many others. And for what? How old are you? For the kid, I guess. It was something we did together. I didn't care what others thought of me. I just wanted him to know that I am. Oh, this is sweet. Okay, next though. We're not that different, you know. Really? You know, act like that like you ain't had someone kill his child. All right, we got to nip that shit in the bud. We got to take him out. And anyway, who's going to know? Well, he's already dead. You can't kill someone who's already dead. There's no going back. I'm talking about your family, talking about your pops, talking about your blood. Blood complicates things. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Riff needs a psych ward, and no one wants to put him there. It's weird to me. My dad is somewhere in South America right now. Probably, probably with a knife to a throat. And what are we doing? Moving weight in goblin mode. How many times? What, what, what does that even mean, me JJ? Me trying to help you save your dad! Help is the exact opposite of what you- They always argue when they do together. When they have like plans and shit. And it looks like we just went there too. Yeah. Come on, man. That's it. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> oh, y'all embarrassed. Tracker. Makes it a lot easier to keep an eye on you, little ones. All units, evidence team is en route to the abandoned U-Haul. Over. Copy that. Sounds like duty calls, so, uh... <laughs> Hold on a minute. We just found a U-Haul full of drugs out near 158. Y'all wouldn't happen to be involved in that, would you? Nope. Nope. What? A, a warrant. Topper's pressing charges. Hold up. For what? A warrant. No, he started it. Yeah. Hands up against the van. Shoot, I didn't... E this time, I didn't even do anything, Shoot, okay? do you know what Topper... Okay. I get it, okay? I get it, but I can't be locked up right now. Well, you should have thought of that beforehand. Come on, man. Come on. JJ, you didn't do shit to Please. You. you know. You stay safe and stay out of trouble. Yeah, Barracuda Dan. And Mike Barracuda Mike, I think his name is. I think. I don't know. The Barracuda man. He's dumb. Like, why would you give such a big job to a couple of kids? You're a jackass. Unloading is one thing, but driving the truck, you set yourself up for failure thinking about it. Really, really not into going away for school. Okay. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Carrera. Uh, I'm gonna get that. Kiara. Come back. You can't say anything about Pope. She's totally lost it, right? Okay, we push her away, we're gonna lose her entirely. 
What are you even looking for? It was something Cleo found, actually. Okay. Here it is. It's a letter Dim Martini wrote to his daughter. We found it last night. Family heirlooms and tingums. We think we found it. Look at her. He noticed. And we can use this to save Big John. Because we have to get this to John B. like yesterday. Hey. Where are you going? Uh, to the break. We're gonna go. <laughs> Not him. I mean, you know the deal about the treasure hunted thing, so they don't believe her in the first place. 15 minutes late already. All right, she's gonna be here. I trust oh, she'll, she'll be she's here. It's too bad she's unreliable. See, see, Mom, I'm not an idiot. There she is. All the shit he did to Jambi. But they got him. He's he's in the station right now. He's in there? Yeah. Walk with me. Mom, just uh, give us a sec. Topper, we're late. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. He's obsessed. It's not like I can't guess what you're going to say right now. You on my side or his? His, always, bitch. If I just wait a day, Jambi will be gone. And are you going with him, or what's going to happen here? What, you'll go with him? She'll be like, no. I'll stay here. You promise me that? Promise. Ooh, that lie. <laughs> Dead. The mom is going to be so pissed. All right, I trust you. You shouldn't, but OK. I love you. Don't you dare say it back. Thank you. Good job. Cause ain't no way, bro. Oh, I should have seen this coming. <laughs> you are just like your father. So weak. Oh, jeez. One side for the pokes. Another for the cooks. From the moment you're born, you're told what side you belong on. But I think it's not what people tell you you are. It's how this is gonna go now. I can get us down to the Orinoco. My dad's gonna let us use the plane. Ward, your dad? Yep. Ah. We lay low tonight, then wheels up first thing in the morning. I don't trust this. All right. I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I feel, I feel like we've all done a thing or two that we regret. And. Oh. Looking over. <laughs> I just want to know are we still all in? We're in! Pogues for life! Poglandia, guys! We're citizens of Poglandia! Aww, you remember when they used to be for a second and a half? What do you say there, shitbird? I think this deserves a woogie. How long are you gonna pretend like you're not coming over here? Right? Stop being stush! Alright, let's try this one more time. Sarah, you know what to do. All right, all right. Oh, God. Uh, she's playing you like a fiddle, bro. Well, I mean, she wouldn't do well, that. Well, I mean, she, she thinks she's a pogue now. You can't trust a pogue, right? I mean, not that you could trust Sarah anyways. And now, she's with John B, and you're looking at me like I'm the bad guy. Okay, you are, you psychotic freak. What's up? Good to see ya. You're such a piece of shit. How do I hate you more than Ward? What is it you really want? What's happening? I know she still loves him. Before I saw you tonight, coming out of the station, I didn't know the answer to that question. Now I do. But now I do. No kiss and makeup. Thank you. This is what married couples do. <laughs> Wow, that was on the boat. Oh, he missed her. She missed him. Oh, well, I knew he was gonna come. You see that mess? What he gonna do though? Something cruel, something vindictive. Okay, he's still topper. That's still what he does. <laughs> Heartbroken. <laughs> messing with his kids feelings for real though but like in all honesty he he pushes like when she hesitates he's like yeah come on let's go what is arson <laughs> well now we 
really know you're crazy. What's the plan here? Let them burn alive? And they're gonna get interrupted, of course, by fire. Kind of been around the bush a little bit, but um, I'm. Yeah. My house is on fire! It bothers my mind how he was upset over John B. hitting him. Even after all the stuff that he did to John B, right? And Sarah and the Pope, just in general, he's a piece of shit, right? And now he set them, the house on fire with them inside. Now what if they die? What then? It, are you going to be rid of the guilt? I don't even think it's possible for him, honestly. I really don't because he's a piece of crap and Popper was always this and he seemed more mellow this season. Mellower than last season and he was pretty mellow last season until he wasn't. And now this time again, his insanity. I don't know, the cooks got his problem mentally and <laughs> like something's wrong with them so very deeply that they need to harm others the show basically says cooks are the bad people or the villains and then the pogues are the good people but we've seen we've seen bad pogues and we have seen good cooks and i guess sarah was the good cook or whatever so if there's that and i'm glad john b and sarah made up like i said married couples have their tips but it's all about the making up and that was, that was good for them. The healing, they needed to be a united front when it comes to helping Big John and they couldn't do that divided. Even JJ was about to apologize. Very glad for that. And yeah, I'm just enjoying the season. It's almost over and I'm going to be really upset that it's done. But I don't know if I'm going to finish. I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way to the end. But the binge continues with one more episode. So guys, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys think. Down in the description box below, there's links to my work past stories, guys. Make sure you check that out. There's also the link to my book recommendation website, also in the description. As well as the Meet the Introvert store on Etsy. So guys, make sure you check that out. And yeah, don't forget about the promo at the end. And until next time, guys.